How's it going everyone? Today I'm going to be going through my Georgia Tech official transcript. I finished Georgia Tech's online master's in computer science program around six months ago, maybe longer. So obviously it has been a while since I've taken some of these classes, but I just wanted to go class by class, uh, semester by semester. So I'm going to go chronologically talking about what classes I took and when, and then I'll just kind of like add some context or overall impressions now that it's been a while since I've taken these classes. The first thing to note is you do have to pay for the official transcript, which is pretty annoying, but I guess that's kind of how it is for all American universities at least. Um, but it is kind of interesting that this transcript is literally all on one page. But as you can see, my major was computer science and the concentration was in machine learning. Starting off with fall 2020, the first class I took was AI for Robotics and a special topics class which was AI Ethics and Society. In particular, I just took AI for Robotics because it seems like everyone was recommending it as a great intro course to the program. And for the most part, I agree with that. I think it was a nice warm up where it didn't feel super difficult. It's kind of inherently fun just because uh, the robotics aspect of things kind of shows you how you can use these algorithms and approaches in something more realistic. So I agree with that. And you know, I have separate videos where I go in depth for most of these classes. I did pair it with AI Ethics and Society just because I wanted to do two classes a semester every semester at first. Eventually I realized that would be too difficult, especially as I switched jobs and started ramping up. But at this point I was taking two classes at a time and everything was pretty good just because my primary role at the time was not super demanding. Like I honestly would be finished by 4 p.m. pretty much every day so I could just switch over and start doing uh, schoolwork on the side. As far as AI ethics in society, you know, I basically just took it because I wanted something easy to pair with it and uh, it works out for the ML specialization. I don't really have a ton to take away, you know, it's an interesting class and I liked the book that we were required to read, but it certainly wasn't something that I feel like I learned a ton overall. Not sure if they've since revamped the curriculum, but um, that's just my experience. Onwards to spring 2021, so I am six credit hours in at this point, and I took software development process and artificial intelligence. As you can see, I got a B in the artificial intelligence class. I worked pretty hard for that class. Um, someone was actually asking me about this specific class the other day, and I will still stand by that it is a good class, and I learned a lot, and I feel like it was a valuable addition to the classes that I took. However, I do feel like it's kind of old in the sense like a lot of the stuff you learn is more artificial intelligence, whereas nowadays, everyone's pretty much focused on machine learning and that kind of subset of artificial intelligence. It does feel kind of theoretical at times and I spent a ton of time on it. So artificial intelligence was my primary focus and demanded way more hours than the other class I took, which was software development process. Software development process, I don't have anything bad to say about it per se, but I just don't think I really got anything out of it at all, honestly. Um, I did get some Git review, which was kind of nice, um, but the main project was working on an Android app, and uh, I had already done that, basically. It was kind of interesting to work in a team in this online asynchronous program, and I feel like that worked out pretty well, um, but after the class ended, I really don't have more contact with any of those team members. Aside from that, really this semester was just focused on getting through AI and then you know, getting the credit hours associated with a secondary course, which was software development process. I will say artificial intelligence was a ton of work for something that's not an ML specialization elective or whatever it's called. So I do kind of regret taking it just because I think if I were to do another difficult class, I would rather do deep learning or computer vision or something like that. Moving on to the next semester, which is fall 2021, you'll notice that I decided to skip the summer 2021 semester. No real reason other than I just wanted to give myself a break. You know, I think two classes a semester is definitely nice just because you go through the program faster, but it definitely is tiring. 
And at that point, I considered you know, doing an easier class during the summer, but I kind of was just like, let's just take this whole summer off, then we can do another two classes in the following semester. So that's what I did in the fall 2021 semester, took machine learning and into 6450, which is data analytics and security. Without a doubt, CS7641, the machine learning course, is like the bread and butter of this entire program, in my opinion. Like this was the class where I feel like I learned the most, I got the most out of it, and I really actually had something to show for my work in the class. Even now, going back, if I look at my reports that I turned in for this specific class, I still feel pretty good about them, and I feel like it's something that I'm proud of. I wish I could publish them or share them publicly, but obviously that's against the honor code. I really like the way that the class is structured and that it's more freeform and open. And I know some people don't like that you have to report your findings in, you know, like prose, paragraph form and whatnot. But in the real world, that's kind of how it is because as a data scientist or an ML engineer, you have to kind of present and tell the story of what you did and what the results were and whatnot. Without a doubt, that took up a ton of time. And for that reason, Into 6450 was kind of the fluff class, definitely one of the easiest classes I've taken in the program. I honestly don't remember anything really. Um... We are on to spring 2022 and I only took MGT 6311, which is digital marketing. I think I had realized in the previous semester that you can take two of these classes that are not prefixed by CS or CSE and they still count towards your degree. Honestly, a mega cheat code if you just want to get classes that count towards your degree but you don't necessarily want to work that hard. Not to slight any of my non-CS friends, but I'm just saying in my personal opinion, classes that are open to non-CS students are generally just way easier because the people taking them aren't necessarily as technical, but of course that's my own opinion. Digital marketing, I didn't really learn anything particularly useful. It was just an easy class, so I didn't have to take a semester off and I still got credit hours towards the 30 required credit hours. On to the next semester, which is summer 2022, I finally took machine learning for trading. You'll notice this is the only summer semester that I took when completing the program, so I didn't really know what to expect, and I did consider taking two classes, but I ended up just taking one. And I'm glad I did, because I was a little bit surprised at the pace of the summer semester. It really is a lot faster. This is a really good course, so I do recommend it to people if they're looking for a first course for the machine learning specialization because it is programming, uh, it is talking about machine learning, and it's kind of a fun topic that everyone is semi-interested in. Granted, you're not doing anything that is going to make you a millionaire just from taking this class, but it definitely was interesting and not super difficult. Overall, a good experience. Going forward, fall 2022, I took data and visual analytics. Overall, you know, there's not a ton of takeaways that I have from this course other than it exposed me to a ton of technologies. I know people don't like that because you just touch on a ton of technologies, but you don't go in depth to really any of them. But the one thing that stuck with me is using Databricks and a Spark enabled environment because I think this was fall 2022 and then in the end of spring 2023 in my full-time role, I actually was working on an ML project where we were setting up the infrastructure and we ended up using Databricks as well. Now, last but not least, we have the spring 2023 semester where I took CS6515, which is Intro to Grad Algorithms. As you can see, this is one of the two classes that I got to be in. I also got to be in Artificial Intelligence. I was actually pretty close to an A, if I recall correctly, but I'm really not salty about it just because I don't care about GPA and I don't think it matters, really. Um, especially since, for me, this is a terminal program. Like, I'm definitely not going to get a doctorate in CS, or at least... I don't foresee it. I think it's a pretty good class. You know, some people are very feisty in the chats on Slack just because I understand the grading is, you know, pretty annoying at times. But overall, it's like an essential class and it does take it a step further than 
the algorithms class that I took in undergrad. So I was kind of thinking it would just be, you know, more of the same from undergrad. And frankly, in undergrad, I wasn't very good at algorithms either. So I wasn't too mad about having to do it. And I was pleasantly surprised that I feel like I was learning more and especially the dynamic programming section um, in undergrad, I really didn't touch on that at all. So this is a good class. I feel like it made me a better programmer and at least refreshed things for me. So um, I do think that really helped. And that covers all of the classes semester by semester that I took in order to complete the program. Overall, my approach to picking classes and choosing when to take them was dependent on what I'm interested in and balancing that with what is required, you know, external factors like how much I'm working and other things going on outside of the OMSCS program, and then peppering in some easy filler classes just to work towards the credit hour requirement. I'm pretty happy with the overall outcome in my education. I will say my biggest regret is probably not taking deep learning or reinforcement learning since I think those are the areas of machine learning that I didn't get exposed to that I really wish I did. Of course it did cross my mind that I can still take it, but after a certain point, you know, I just wanted to finish the program and I kind of opted for the easier classes before grad algorithms. I hope this helped and let me know if you guys have any other questions. Be sure to give me a like and subscribe for more.